Tides of change. Tides of change. Tides of change. We have come to the day four, and we come back to the ocean. But not this time. We're not only come back the ocean. We come down into the ocean. Yes. yes. I'm CGTN reporter Zhao Yunfei, and I'm Jingjing from CGTN, and I'm Matt from Jiao Mata. All right. Uh, so today uh, we have a very very special mission because yesterday yeah. we were in a lab. We saw all different types of corals,、mm -hmm. and we learned about the importance of planting corals.、Mm -hmm. uh, But we never get a chance to plant them. Well, well, today we are having the chance. Like me and Matt. Well,、uh, we are also scuba divers. Like it's it's a very strange experience because、uh, I'm a journalist with CGTN, and I normally go vacations and <laughs>、yeah. go scuba diving. So work during vacation. Yeah, This is your so work now I can do scuba、trip. diving while doing my work of this live stream. So today, what are we gonna do? Is me and Matt gonna go to the ocean, join the scientists? Planting some corals by ourselves. I'm so do you probably. This combines all of my favorite things. I love the tropics. I love swimming. I love dealing with corals, and I love doing something with a greater purpose, like actually planting this coral. What we're going to do today is going to have rippling effects way, way into the future. And then my last favorite thing. Is that I get to share it all and do it in a video form, which is great. While you were diving, you certainly can't talk because you have to breathe <laughs> with your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> This is probably going to be my first live stream without much talking. Yeah. So <laughs> when you are doing the live stream, live streaming without talking, I'll keep talking. But I'm not alone. Let me introduce my guest,、uh, uh, Liu Chengyuan. He is our marine biologist. Bi biologist. So、uh, he has more、uh, information about. What、uh, they are actually doing down the water, ten meters down the water, and we'll be explaining and interpreting what Jingjing and Matt is doing while they are down in the ocean. All right, ready? Okay, let's, ready? Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Jiao. 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 Woohoo! So now you can see that Matt and Jingjing are gearing up.、Uh, I have a question to you,、uh, uh, Mr. Liu. So why? Because we saw people、uh, planting. Coral reef down the water、uh, in the lab, but what is it different?、Uh, planting a coral reef really down the ocean compared with doing so in the lab. Okay, there there are big place.、Uh, there are big places.、Uh, it's it's better to restore the coral reef ecosystem.、Okay. So and also,、uh, you also mentioned that the ocean has a much bigger space. So、yeah. technically, if you give the coral reefs enough space and they can expand, expand, keep growing, keep growing,、yeah. uh, and they can live as much longer as they could, and then basically extend to the entire ocean, <laughs> get to the new world. Ready? No, not. How are you guys doing? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm ready to go. Okay. I'll suit it up. Do you need help? Don't get nervous. I'm not nervous. Are you nervous? I know that our <laughs> camera crew is very, very nervous because、really? this is their second or third time ever going down, down, going, going down the ocean. So、yeah. uh, it's, it's, it could be hard, but difficult for them. So I can tell that they're adjusting uh, our uh, underwater drill.、Yeah. So, We're dive buddies, so we have to watch out for each other down yeah, there. Yeah, it's、yes. very important. Certainly. Dive buddies, we check. So when you see when you see CGTN down the water, or we hear CGTN down the water, you will know、yeah. it's us. Because we cannot talk, and、oh, yeah, uh, my, it's very dark in the ocean. Where's my weight belt? My weights. Where's your weights? Oh, there. You can't lose your weights. Yeah. Otherwise. I'm just gonna float around. You won't.、Yeah. You won't go down. I'll be a bobber, not a, <laughs> not a diver. Okay, I'm leaking the goggle because I have to stop it from getting foggy. Yep. It's all right.、Um, it's very dark in the ocean, so if you don't know how to like which is Matt, which is me, you can look for this white frame on my goggle. And you got or the、white. no hair on the head. <laughs> <laughs> That helps too. All right, we ready to go? Okay. Safe、Let's trip. Go. Let's safe go. Trip. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Keep safe. Okay. Watch out. I sure can, buddy. <laughs> Woo! Throw weights. Oh, 
Matt and JJ having some final tasks uh, before they uh, dive down the ocean. Uh, they will swim. You want to count me down? One, two, three. I'll count you down. One. Okay, what? One, two, two and three. three. Woohoo! Okay, that's my turn. Do you want to count by yourself? Yeah. Okay. So before I jump, let me make sure I got everything ready. Everything's connected. Final check. Make sure everything goes well. We go by three, two, and one. All right, All right. Jake Jake talking. <laughs> I can't talk. You know. I can't talk. You, you can't talk later. See you in the ocean. See you about 40 minutes or so. Bye bye. Okay. So uh, they're floating away from us. They will float, they'll swim for a while before they really will go down the water. But what we can do now is go upstairs and check out how they're doing. Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, Dr. Liu, I'm going to have you sit over here so that we can okay. have a big monitor. Uh, it's, it's basically a reflection a monitor uh, that can tell uh, where they're really from. But as we start our conversation, uh, I wanted to let our audience know that we're live streaming on social, different social media platforms of CGTN. And we also have prizes for our audiences, uh, but you need to answer our quiz. The four, first few people who got the correct answer will get our gift. Uh, so our question for today is how many types of cor stone coral are there in China? How many types of stone coral are there in China? We have multiple choices. A, 100, 2, B, B 200, C, 300, and D, 400. And if you, you can type your answer and by downloading uh, Yang Shipin app, it's a mobile app, and then watch our live stream, type your answer, in Yang Shipin, and the first few people who got the correct answer will get our gifts. All right, um, it looks like uh, this is, they, they are still uh, up on the water, so, so hopefully, uh, today the, the wind is, is pretty strong, right? Uh, yeah. Compared with another day, because we did a rehearsal So they are, uh, I think they are, I think they're going away and uh, we will get a full image of it where they're getting down. So what about, what about the weather today? Is it suitable for diving? Uh, the weather today. In the morning, it's kind of rainy. Now, it's turning good, but we're still seeing a choppy sea. So the visibility will be higher if there is sufficient sunshine. And then you can see further better visibility as well. So today we really have a very good weather. Uh, later when they are diving down 10 meters below water and uh, you're probably going to have a crystal clear reflection of what they are really doing. So they route for today, uh, they, they definitely plan for a route. Uh, so they will first of all go to uh, a, a place where they can get the uh, branches of coral reef and that is the place where many corals have already been planted. It's just like planting a tree. And the first job you do is to collect the seed or collect the, the young, the, 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 short, the short trees uh, at one area and then bring the coral reefs uh, to other place, to another places where uh, the corals are not uh, widely being uh, planted. And uh, hopefully they will be able to plant 
um, three to ten pieces of coral uh, by our 40 minutes long live stream uh, today. Uh, and also, by the way, that uh, I think this is a very, very uh, milestone live streaming of CGTN because uh, this is our first, uh, CGTN's first attempt of doing a live stream that really under the water. Uh, now, despite the fact that they are, uh, we they haven't done diving deep, but later, really down the ocean, they, it will be a very uh, milestone um, image. They are diving. They are already on the water. They are already on the water. Well, now in the, minute, uh, in the image, you can see that Matt is uh, diving down. So he is certainly already below our uh, camera crew. And he's coming down. And it really takes a while for our people, for our crew to go down because the most difficult task is diving itself. Yes, when you are a starter, the first thing you should overcome is the fear of water. As fresh learners, many people are panicked. So you have to adjust your balance, your air pressure. So it's nothing relevant to whether you can swim or not. Yes, diving has nothing to do with swimming. If you are not a swimmer, you're, you can also be a diver. Uh, looks like she is this Jingjing. I think it's Jingjing. So she's uh, she's waving to our camera. Okay, let's see. Uh, Matt and Jingjing have has already successfully dived down there, and they are swimming really fast. So, so we our camera is trying to catch up with them. Uh, they are in the bottom left of our frame. Oh, now you can see this is Miao Pu. This is one of the nursing yards. But this is not the place where we used to head it to. What we've done is to make those fragments and cultivate them so that to transfer those corals and reduce the damage of the wild corals. We, are, we can also see that there are many fish down the water. It's, it's a really beautiful ocean scene there. There are many corals, for example, these greener ones, is what we've done in 2016. And at that time, it was 8 to 10. Now it has grown big. Before 2016, 2007, the degradation of coral was serious. Comparing with now, in the year 2000, the coral reef offshore has decreased by 80%, which is a striking number. But the offshore coral degradation, well, how will it affect the environment? This is a huge impact. First, the stone corals, it is a three-dimensional structure. It provides accommodation for many maritime creatures. When it disappears, when it is extinct, the fishes and maritime organisms will have no place to live. The stone coral can also protect our coastline from being eroded by tide. Otherwise, it will be severely eroded by tides. So, so you can see it's, it's a very significant, that's why they are uh, planting the reefs today. Yeah. Uh, these table sized corals is what we've done. It was, was transferred in the year of 2016, and many of them have grown to a size from 1 to 2 meters. That really can prove the significance of the coral reef they have been built in the past one decade or two. 
uh, and then uh, today our uh, crew members is also contributing the entire process and they are going to contribute uh, three to ten pieces of coral reef and uh, hopefully if we get a chance to come back after like say 10 years or 20 years uh, the, the coral reefs will grow much bigger. Uh, speaking of this, what's the speed of grow, growth speed of coral reef? For some corals, when it is in a very ideal circumstance, for those branch style, it can grow from 8 to 10 centimeters. 8 to 10 centimeters every year. Uh, give me an idea, is that very significant or is that very slow? Now the artificial one is faster since it will create a favorable condition for the growth of coral. But in the wild, it's not leaving now the best condition. Now you see that they have already come to the garden of reefs. They are already at our nursing yard. Uh, what, is the, what does it look like? It is like a rectangular and scarf coating structure. We'll put a very tiny fragment of coral and we'll cut it into pieces. As you can see, that they are using scissors or other uh, things, a uh, gear to try to collect the branches of coral reefs. Uh, so to the left, to the right hand side, uh, she must be Jingjing Jing, and your, your left hand side is uh, the one who is wearing uh, blue is mad. Uh, they are cutting off the fragments of the coral. In a well covered coral space, and there are a lot of fishes since the accommodations has been provided and biodiversity has been enhanced. So, certainly, as we can tell, the fish are the home of coral reefs. You can tell. Uh, today, we're going to plan transfer about five corals. Uh, this is just a small, tiny amount comparing with what we are doing. In this sea area, we have planted about 30,000 corals. Uh, that's 30,000 pieces. Uh, so how was that an effort in the past 10 years? Uh, this was an effort made in the past five years. It planted uh, 30,000 pieces. Uh, what are they doing? I have no idea. They are trying to communicate. They are using drills. And they are drilling a hole. On the oh, we can see the dust uh, coming out from the stone as they are drilling holes under the water. It is quite an effort to drill underwater, right? Yes. On the screen, we can see it is such an easy move. But beneath the water, if you experience it yourself, you should have overcome a lot of difficulties, including uh, the toughness of reef and turbulence of the water. Uh, certainly, you can tell this is. This is this is Is this our staff member? Okay. Yes, the staff member is demonstrating the mission they are going to finish. The entire transferring process is clamping down the fragments of coral to the repairment nursing area. Ooh, what is this yellow thing? This is a micelle. 
and the cell is used to stabilize nails. Oh. After drilling, we need to nail, to nail the roof, but it's not stationary. Therefore, it needs to be stabilized by these nacelles, make it harder and tougher. Wow, as you can tell, this is a really complicated process. Imagine they did 30,000 times like this in the past five years. And it's, it's a very significant, great amount of work. Now they are trying to, uh, uh, now Jingjing and Matt are trying to help themselves uh, with the entire planting process and see how they are doing. They're using a hammer. They're using hammer and to nail the reef. This is a nail. A nail like this can bond the coral, make it more stable and solid. So it's basically a nail in an arc shape. It's a nail in an arc shape and they are uh, using a hammer to dig the nail into the stone. It looks like Matt and Jingjing are floating. <laughs> so <laughs> they're, they're trying, they wanted to help, uh, but we can understand that this is a really complicated process. Okay, Jingjing is trying to give a try. Look at that. She's trying to put the nail, dig the nail into the stone. There she goes. Um, it looks not easy. And our staff member <laughs> is more familiar with this whole process. While Jing Jing okay, is a little green. Matt is trying that out. Okay. Don't hurt your hand. There he goes. Make sure it's stable. Okay. Very good. They're good to go. And we use fixtures to stabilize. We're trying to use the tie, so what the trainer is holding the, the, the white tie, and they're, the, they're using that thing to trying to put the coral reefs onto the nail. Before On our reefs, there are some certain allergies so that to make the corals better attached to the reefs, we will clean the algae up Uh, does it mean that the coral can grow on the reef? We think a successful case is that the coral is stabilized on the missiles. This is a major criteria of how we judge whether the coral is successfully transferred. Wow, now they are uh, cutting down the extra parts of the tie so that there it goes and when the coral uh, grows bigger and it will get bigger and basically it will cover up the nail as well as the plastic uh, part. Now Jing Jing is trying to is trying it out for the same process. Can Jing Jing the oh, she's using exactly the same process. There are a lot of fish which will hide our camera. A good ecosystem in the reef will attract a lot of fishes. In the past there was a report saying that the coral reef 
covered only 0.5%. However, it has breeded one out of 10 fishes worldwide. So that's uh, the coral reef is really a great protection of the biological uh, ecosystem uh, down the ocean. And a lot of the uh, ocean organisms are heavily rely on uh, the coral reefs. Uh, certainly you can tell that uh, the more coral you get, the more fish uh, you will see. So it's uh, a lot of the, it's, it's basically a home base for a lot of uh, living species uh, down the ocean. Now, the Matt is doing the same process and he's cleaning uh, on the stone to uh, clean away. And then, uh, okay, there are three more pieces. Looks like there are three more pieces to, to plant. Let's see how, she, oh, this, I think this is Jingjing. Yeah. Uh, this is Jingjing, uh, she's wearing a purple watch. Okay, so Jingjing is trying out, oh, make sure the coral is on one side and using the tie to uh, tidy it up. It's not easy, I can tell, because he's, she's literally floating in the water while doing a very complicated work. All right, now she's using the second one, trying to tie it up. It is quite an accomplishment for starters. I've been here before, and half of my year was spent underwater repairing those coral reefs. You do that on your own, right? And what is the experience of that? On the screen, and in reality, it's different. For example, the difference of color. If you really go deep underwater, and you will see colorful corals, well covered, an impressive scene of colorful. This really makes me jealous of what they are doing, because really, if you nobody would know if you don't dive really deep uh, down the ocean, uh, you won't check out the how colorful the underground the water would be. Okay. Now Matt is trying to use the same method to plant a, a piece of coral reef. I also want to point out that the transferring of coral is seemingly an easy process, but in practice it is a complicated procedure and it is time consuming and energy consuming. Therefore, we should protect the coral reef ecosystem when we are, go, we are going diving. And the stone corals is listed as a protective animal nationwide. Breeding, transaction, and, and if destroy you happen will be to down, outlawed. dive down there, uh, touching corals is all, also a very dangerous move, move, not only for the coral itself, you may probably get uh, beat, uh, beaten by the corals, right? You could be beaten by Yes, the corals are self-defensive. If you touch them with bare hand, uh, it will hurt you. Now they have done planting the coral reefs. Now they are leaving the site. Uh, uh, Jing Jing and Matt just wave their hands uh, in front of the camera. So uh, they are swimming away. Uh, and hopefully we'll get a chance to see them again. Uh, look at those bubbles. They are certainly uh, breathing through the breathing tube. Are they waking their way back? I think they are making their way back. They will probably travel to another nursery area, which is in the rope structure. So I saw was they are heading to another area where you probably get 
a better idea of the entire coral planting. 那么我们现在种珊瑚的全国，从中国来看，中国在与水底珊瑚的这个种植方面，呃，做到 underwater transferring。呃，是这样。How is the situation nationwide? My task force group over the past dozen of years. We have reclaimed about 200,000 square meters of underwater environment in Hainan and in China. Ecological reclamation has become of strategic importance. Wow! Look at those beautiful corals. Uh, this is really fascinating scene, as you can tell. Uh, Matt and Jingjin is really having a very closer touch with the fish and coral reefs down the water. There are some softer and hard corals. What is the difference between that? When repairing the stone corals, what we've been using was stone corals, which is a hard one. The bones of it is strong and tough. It can create a three-dimensional structure, providing accommodation for fishes. Though it is soft in touch, it is more functional. I'm going to explain what they are looking at now. This is a very fascinating scene. And this is our rope-style nursery yard. The chorus was initially three to five centimeters, and now it has reached. 20 to 40 centimeters. From the image, I can certainly tell Matt and Xinjing are very excited uh, coming here. They just uh, wave to the camera, and uh, it looks like they're they, they they. This is something that really fascinating. So they are <laughs> using their gestures to show their appreciation to the nature. There are some branch-style corals and some table-sized, which is just like a flat desk or a table. They, have, they are in different shapes. It is not easy to build up such a nursery yard, right? We set up nursery yard in accordance with its geographical condition, and it is very time-consuming. Are they in the same time? They are trying to, they are trying to do this. They are trying to show this. They are showcasing such table, table-sized coral. And what we are using is the branches of corals, and some of them they look like fingers. And they can occupy more spaces, which is better for our repairment. I know that uh, you are also doing the similar project in the South China Sea, right? In Nanhai, you will do the same kind of work. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, exactly. In China's Southern Island, we practice such. Experiment, but mostly it's done in an okay, offshore area. Okay, now they are area. trying to uh, making their uh, they are trying to make their way up. Uh, hopefully, it's a smooth load. Uh, now we can see that Jing Jing is trying to use a stick. Jing Jing, he should use a stick to move himself. Yes, a stick. What is this? 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 Uh, 
We can't talk underwater. If I'm calling my partners, I use this stick and hit my air bottle so that the sound will be heard by my partners. And it is also something that we should use to detect a certain aquatic animals because they are dangerous if we touch them with bare well, certainly, hands. Certainly, uh, as you can tell, that uh, people, our crew is making our way up and this is definitely a very, very deep ocean. Uh, it takes a while to uh, float, flow up. So uh, I heard it's 10, 10 meters deep. Yes, it's uh, almost 8 to 10 meters. Will there be other further applications in the uh, bluer water? Now, mostly, this coral transferring was done in a 10 meter deep area. It is a quite unique type. The Stone coral coexist with a microalgae, and the algae provides nutrition through photosynthesis. Well, the algae also got its accommodation, so they are coexisting with each other. In deeper water, the photosynthesis will decrease, and the nutrition will decline as well. That's the reason we transferring. We are transferring corals in the offshore area. I've also have, have some basic questions, a lot of people but people don't know. Don't know these fun facts, but I really wanted to cover. Uh, is is coral a kind of animal or plant? Coral is an animal instead of a vegetation. It is a spine animal, but it's stationary. It benefits itself through the coexistence with the microalgae. If it's an animal, it must have babies. Uh, how, how can it be born to babies? Most of the chorus uh, they will expose, they will release their sperms and eggs. Different sperms will match with different eggs. And then the coral moth will be generated. And a very small portion of uh, corals, it gave birth to those coral moths directly in their body and release them into the sea. One of them is sexual propagation, the other is asexual propagation. This is something I really never know before. <laughs> because uh, I never could imagine, because certainly at Coral Reef, uh, you, you see that they are really hard down the ocean, so a lot of people would assume that it's a plant, but actually it's uh, part of animals. That's why uh, you, you're not allowed to touch it. Uh, what if you got beaten? What can you do if you got beaten by the coral reefs? If you're itchy, and you will suffer from like pimples and swollen. Uh, okay, where are they right now? This is one of the constructors underwater. Okay, I think I think they're by a, a, a sunken boat uh, down the uh, ocean. 
这可能是一些土矿的胶体。These are some m i c h e l l s 这应该是一个沉船是吧？这个船是。This is sunk. 这应该是个沉船吧？他们应该是到了一个沉船的地方吧？现在不知道。Are they at a sunk boat? 可能是，可能是。Okay, now they are、um, making their way back. So this now they are making their way up. You're watching a live streaming on CGTN social media platforms as well as CGTN、uh, smartphone app.、Uh, please, if you have any questions, please post your comments.、Uh, On our your favorite social media platform, either Facebook or Twitter, but search CGTN and you can find our live stream.、Uh, you can post questions about the coral reef and or also、uh, leave your comments about coral reefs,、um, and we will get back to you. 那在中国的范围之内，我们大概会有多少这个？ Within China, how many types of stone reefs do we have? Stone corals do we have? The latest investigation shows there are over 400 stone corals, and a quarter of them within Shanya, within Sanya. Uh, 四百多种，这在全球是一个什么样的概念 ？What about the entire world? 呃，是这样，就是在，因为我们这个区系的话，应该属于印度太平洋这个区系。We're at the Indo-Pacific region, and there are over 1,200 types of stone corals. And the South China Sea is a very important region, for it occupies one third. Certainly, South China Sea is a very important area for coral planting, and、uh, given the、uh, biodiversity in South China Sea, scientists are ma also making their efforts to、uh, keep the environment.、Uh, Friendly for the coral reef. Now they have already floating out of the water, so we can go downstairs and check out how they are doing. 咱们下去看看。Ooh. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Okay. All right, you're All up right. here. Good for you. How 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 was that? Ah, I just went to an alien world and came right back. It was an alien world. <laughs> they can certainly tell.、Oh. I I I'm so jealous of what you just did. Like from the image, it was a very fascinating. You know,、scene. It, you know, it, we had a lot of waves today, and I was a little worried that the quality of the water wasn't going to be good, but it was quite clear. Okay. So、uh, that was a really really good thing. The other, I was thinking about. You know, we planted that coral. You know, in one year, two year, three years, we could come back here. That whole rock could be covered with a piece of coral that I helped put there. It's pretty, pretty interesting. You know. Okay. He said, he said, a year later, the whole rock will become sand. Is there a possibility? Yes, there is. 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 Certainly, after a couple of years, you will get a chance. And you know what's happening is every day people are coming down here. Every day they're doing that. So in ten years' time, twenty years' time, this whole area could recover. You know. Okay. Jing Jing's back. Jing Jing is back. <laughs> Sorry that I'm screaming because all these gears are so heavy. But I'm a strong woman. I can carry that. You are a strong woman. Yes, I am. Okay. Did you have fun? That was pretty good, right? Very、really、good. That was good. How was that?、Uh, did you guys see the beautiful lake coral、oh, yeah, growing out of that? It's awesome, right? I've never seen that. Well, in other like I've done in many other countries like Australia, Indonesia. <laughs> Hopiala, Hopiala. This is our cameraman. When the when the cameraman comes up and says Jeffy Aliang, you got some good stuff. We also want to take this chance to thank Ajing Technology. They have provided the water drone for us.
Man, we, we live in an interesting time, man. So yeah. many cool toys to play with. We have so many drones. One drone in the sky, one drone in the water, uh, water with us. And uh, like, how do you how do you feel? With I, I think it's fascinating because the image what we are seeing is not exactly as the image you are seeing. Uh -huh. it, uh, also, uh, Dr. Liu told me that it's a it's a, it's a more colorful scene. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. our audience probably already see a little bit differently. But also, uh, talking about yeah. the feel, you must have a more like yeah. more because vivid of the lighting, feeling. Because of lighting. So in the water, uh, the right light cannot get through deep down the water. So when you see it from the camera, it's just gonna be dark. Yeah. Green. A, little, a little bit of green, a yeah, little bit dark. Green, but actually, it, if you got proper lighting, it's very vibrant color. Yeah, yeah it's gorgeous. Okay. And the water was flowing a little bit quick. I had to hold you for a second to try to make sure <laughs> yeah. that you could put that coral yeah. on. Yeah, I know it's very hard for you, <laughs> yeah. especially when you're using the hammer to kind of yeah. dig the hole, yeah. right? So, because today the wind is pretty strong, yeah. so yeah, the current's could, strong yeah, too. Yeah, we could feel the current, so it's, it's hard when we try to uh, stay still and hammering that in the ocean. <laughs> so we already, you probably already saw that, like we were using the poker to uh, like stay still. Yeah, 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 yeah. The current okay. was really strong today. All right, lesson learned today. Save Fantastic. the environment. <laughs> Save the environment and uh, be good to the corals. Yeah. All right. Do your part. Thank you for watching. Now stay tuned on CGTN for more episodes of Tides of Change. See you later. See you. Bye. 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 This, this. <laughs> that, 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 that. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Woohoo! Woohoo! Thank you, Were talking. we cutting out at all? Was it cutting out a lot or was it pretty good? I don't know. Well, it's, 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 it's very well. It's, I can see all the time. Okay. It's okay. Kind of